lot of people have been asking me uh, for updates on our skate park project. And so I figured I'd start making uh, a few videos just to kind of give updates on the project and uh, talk about timelines and different grants that we're working on and uh, just share certain things that I've learned through this process that I think uh, could be helpful for other people too. Right now we're uh, riding a bicycle in the future Hollis Williams Greenway Park. Uh, the future Greenway is going to be this whole area uh, underneath Interstate 110 between Jordan Street and Wright Street. And the idea of the project is to connect these two neighborhoods to my right and to my left that were separated about 40 years ago uh, when the state put uh, this Interstate 110 right here. And so I uh, heard they bulldozed 30 or 40 blocks of homes and have a safe, active, fun uh, corridor leading into our downtown and waterfront. The skate park is at the south end of this park, uh, which will make up 18 blocks. And uh, so the skate park will occupy one of those blocks. We recently won the USA Today Community Thrives Grant. Uh, we were one of two applicants out of close to a thousand in the country that was awarded a $100,000 grant. So. That $100,000 is going to go directly towards skate park construction costs. The overall cost of the skate park, not including lighting, bathrooms, landscaping, uh, nothing like that, just the skate park is $1.25 million. So right now we have around uh, $350,000 to put towards it. Do have some other grant applications in the works right now so we think by the end of the year we'll have at least half a million dollars or over half a million dollars to put towards construction of the park since we've already been working on this project for three and a half years and there's been groups in our city working on this project not this particular project but just getting a public skate park in our city uh, they've been working on it for the last 40 years. So that being said, I'm going to do everything in my power to get some shovels in the ground in early 2019. All right. Sorry, the uh, camera battery died on the bike ride. Okay, so we were talking about the USA Today video grant. And I just wanted to mention that around the time that we were working on the video and kind of figuring out the premise of the video and story that we wanted to tell, I obviously it's about the skate park, uh, but it's also uh, about overcoming obstacles. And that was inspired by a book I read uh, by Ryan Holiday. I found out about Ryan on the Tim Ferriss podcast. And the premise of the book is all about how you can turn obstacles, almost any obstacle, into an opportunity. And as a skateboarder, that really resonated with me and it especially resonated uh, with me because it, just working on a, a project like this, uh, you realize that you're gonna have a lot of obstacles uh, in your way and it's, it's really more of how you react uh, to those obstacles. Uh, that's gonna have the biggest impact. Um, so thanks, Ryan. Uh, the book, I feel like really, it's had a big impact on my life. And then I also wanted to thank my buddy, Andy Prince with uh, Manchester Orchestra. He was able to get us hooked up with uh, this awesome song called The Silence uh, that we used in our video. Uh, so thanks, Andy. And then I also wanted to thank uh, my buddy Grant Tyson with the Southern Creative uh, who helped shoot and cut the video. Anyways, if you guys have any other questions or anything, uh, let me know and I'll, I'll try to uh, make periodic video updates.